Okay, so that's curves. But what do we do about surfaces or other things in higher dimensional space? How do we use calculus to make sense of these? Look, even in a simple case where we could draw a graph, such as with a surface, it is not obvious what to do. Consider the following simple polynomial function of two variables. What's the derivative? Is it some kind of slope? Is it some kind of rate of change? It's not so clear what to do. And this is a simple case. In general, we need more tools. In the general case, where we have some kind of n-dimensional thing inside of some m-dimensional space, well, it's specified by a function with n inputs and m outputs. What's the derivative? Uh, how do we keep track of all the different rates of change involved here? Well, we need something more than just vectors and vector algebra to organize this data. And what you're going to need is more math. And that is what's coming next.